Oh, we're doing, we're doing a new drone. Nothing, nothing like an out. This isn't like an outdoor drone. Just a, this is the Holy Stone, Holy Stone HS two ten. It's it's a little wee drone, I think. It's the it's a mini drone, which I'm kind of excited because I've I've always wanted a mini drone. And of course, this was sent to us by Holy Stone, uh, RC and Nano Quad Cop Quad Copter best drone for kids beginners so um we're gonna take this right now it's it's reasonably priced it comes in around 40 40 ish bucks you can get a four dollar coupon this is here in canada uh, i don't know which color my guess is we got the red one but it looks like you can get it in this red and white or blue and white red red is stylish um looks like it may come with a couple a couple extra batteries we're going to take a look at what comes in the box and then of course we're going to take it upstairs and just give it a fly around the house to see what we think. All right, coming up. Okay, so we have a toss to launch. That's cool. Maybe a little scary. Uh, easy for beginners. Maybe not this kid. That's a little too beginnery. Uh, fly in a circle with a sim simple button. We're just going to fly it. That's what we're going to do. Do tricks. Sure. There's a little video there and a 360. So um, I'm, I'm guessing this should be good. 1,600 reviews. It does come with three batteries. Um, so they're saying that with the three batteries, I think you're going to get a total of, of about 21 minutes, which seems average. The batteries can't be overly large for something like this. So you're looking at about seven minutes per battery. Uh, easy to control, good for beginners. It's designed for having fun because nobody wants a drone that you buy and it's for making you sad, I guess. Um, 30 day whole unit warranty for quality related issues, 90 day accessory warranty for any reason. So while well, they say any reason, I'm, I'm a little, they say accessories. So I'm wondering, you know, that would be like the controller and stuff like that. You know, if you fly this into something and it breaks, I doubt that's going to be covered. Anyways, that's it. The most pilot-friendly drone ever, ever. It does have them flying this outside. I don't know. Something this small and light, I doubt it. I doubt that this should be something that you probably fly outside too much, especially if there's any wind. Now, if there's zero wind, maybe. All right, here it is. Holy Stone HS210. You guys can see it there. I'll bring it up a little closer. That's That's the box. You get some stuff on the on the sides there, and that's that's kind of it. A little danger. Read and understand the user manual. So I'm gonna make sure that I. Well, I'm not. I'm probably not gonna. Probably not gonna. It's just this. It, it, it's how it is. It's what I do. Anyways, we are going to crack this open here. Should be should be a bunch of excellent. Two little tears. Very cool. Number one. Number one is this this fella, right? This fella right here. So it's a it's a little controller, you know? Not a lot to it. You get you get some uh I'm guessing this would maybe like a speed to kind of just change type from beginner to other mode. This is a flip button. Uh this is doesn't come with batteries. It looks like it needs batteries, so we're gonna put batteries in here. I don't know what kind of batteries it takes. Based on the size, my guess would either be triple A's or a nine volt would be my guess because it has the screws so you can't pop it out um, and 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 this take off button and uh, my guess is this would be like headless mode so you can decide what you want but as far as a little tiny controller even with grown-up hands it's not horrible right and the sticks are decent they pop back and forth nice no clicky in but feel responsive that's nice uh, this is your, I'm guessing, uh, extra props. There's a screwdriver that you can use with the remote to get out there. This is, I'm guessing, like I said, charger, uh, manual, and caution of battery. All, all right there. It says read it. So that's up to you. You probably should. Oh, it's so little. It's so little. Anyways, see what I said about small batteries? Check that out. That's like, that's like thumbnail, thumbnail size. Right? You get three of these. These are little. Oh my gosh. But you get three. That's cool. I would think they would charge pretty fast. And check this guy out. Check him out. You guys see that? Look at this. Yeah, I wouldn't fly this outside. Well, you could. Like, again, you probably could if with zero wind. Right? But, oh yes. 
that's that's super fun. Battery is gonna go in in this little area right there. Can it can it focus on me? Come on, you can focus. You're having issues with the focusing because you're like, I don't know what I'm focusing on. It's too little. Slide right in there. There's a little plug-in adapter. Look how small the little props are. It looks sporty though. I like, and that's what you know. You look at these pictures on here, and you're like, oh my gosh, it's large. You have to realize micro drone because they don't have anywhere really on here that they show it. Um, really, in comparison to like your hand, right? Like it's it's tiny. It's really little. Oh, I'm excited to try this. I shouldn't be this excited, but I am. So we're gonna go upstairs and uh, give this give this a little fly. All right, let's go upstairs. Okay, so battery wise, this just slides in here. It's got one way that it can go. And you need little little hands. There we go. Lights and everything. Sweet deal. Okay. And then the manual says basically you can do a calibration. Now this does have an on off, so we're just gonna switch that on. And I think that's it. Now Pairing, connect the battery port, yep. Place the drone on a flat level surface. Turn on the transmitter, push the throttle joysticks up, then down. So, up, then down. Oh yeah, there it goes, see? The lights are not flashing anymore, so that's excellent. And then, you push them both to the side, and this calibrates the gyro inside it. So, at that point in time, uh, I'm just keeping the manual here. You have a little button here that will allow it to turn on. I'm going to just turn that off, I think. Actually, we'll see. Let's just, let's just get it to fly. Ready? There it goes. Okay. Now, the other thing they said, because that one you would just get started and then you would just let it go. The other thing they said is, well, we'll see if this works. Get it in your hand, right? After pairing, pick up the drone and lay it flat on your palm. Gently toss the drone in the air and it will hover. Okay. Well, isn't that magical? Well, that that's super cool. And it's got a bit of a drift, but it, you can go in and play with that. But that is really steady. You guys can see that, hey? Check out how steady that is. Oh, I like that. And you can do some trimming, of course, just to get it to do whatever you want. Now, they say, if I'm correct here, let's just get it up a little bit. If I tap this, it didn't do anything. No, nope. maybe I have to be in like a, a faster mode. Maybe, let's, let's do this. Let's put it into the other mode. Nope. Now, first off, just so you guys can tell, this thing, like it flies, it's super fast and responsive, which is awesome, right? Look at that. And the control of it is really good. Like you can have this beside yourself, like I have right here. And that, that is really nice. Now flight time, like I said, you probably get about, my guess would be five to seven minutes. And I do have a bit of a drift to the, to the left, but that's okay. That is something we can play with. They do talk about it. But look at the, look at the speed of this thing. Like. Oh yeah, and then forward. I just realized my house is a bit of a mess because we're putting up Christmas decorations. So, oh, I like that a lot actually. That is super fun. Now they say, and now I don't want to necessarily, actually let's bring it over to the side here. Actually, let's try to land this, ready? We'll bring it up over the table, over the table, not hopefully not hitting anything. And if we bring it down a little bit, I think if we just tap the button, it just lands. 
So the, the landing button works super good, super good, but it does say, I'm pretty sure everything's, everything's working good. When in flight, you can press the one landing button. I'm with you. Uh, there's their trimmer information. Okay. Uh, speed switch. Emergency stop. So if you hit the two buttons at the top, it's emergency stop. Uh, 360 flip. When you get familiar with all the functions of the drone, you can try the amazing flip mode. When you fly the drone at least 10 feet, press the 360 flip button. May, okay, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm not high enough because it, and I wonder, I, for a lot of us, we probably don't have a high enough ceiling. So my guess is it may be able to detect some of that, right? Circle fly, same thing. Press and hold the speed switch button for about three seconds. The drone will enter fly circle mode and it'll just fly in a circle. Okay. Let's just try it one more time. So let's hit this button this time. Boom. And you can just off she goes, right? Okay, so let's get it. Let's get it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's get it to as high as I can get it, which is about there. Hopefully you guys and we'll ready tap the button. No, still can't get it to go. I don't I'm not. Okay, well, let's do this. One, two, three. So my only worry my only worry is just the fact that I'm, I can't get it high enough because 10 feet is high, right? Because it has to be able to bounce forward. I think my battery's almost dead. <laughs> it landed. All right. Anyways, um, this is really cool. I'm going to play with it a bunch more just to figure out what's going on. Um, but I think for the price and the value, this this thing is is like super fun. Super fun. Three batteries, right? Again, you're getting five to seven minutes, I would think, for that. So make sure you give them a good charge and uh, you should have a little, little, little bit of fun playing around. All right, guys, I'm going to leave links down below if you guys are interested in this little guy because I think uh, it's, it's pretty sweet. All right, my friends, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and we'll see you guys uh, next video. Later.